I am currently making an indexing four-way tool, tool post for the lathe. This is something that most people would say is an anachronism. Uh, oh, you should be going for a rapid tool post. Oh, no, you shouldn't. Not if you haven't really, really got the need for it. So we're into the last, uh, the last stages of milling the slots in the tool post. The blank has been turned out. It's ready to go. It will index eventually. Um, so I've got the last, uh, the last bit of slot to cut out now. Um, I do have a 12 mil cutter. The this is an eight. Uh, a 12 mil cutter would have taken my taken my groove out. I need to go to about 13 uh, in order to have a bit of have a bit of slack. So in we go. Lots of clean out there. So what we're doing is 12 mil deep in two, mil two millimeter increments. With, uh, with an eight mil cutter and we're going to about 13 and a half here. The reason that I'm also not going in deeper than two mil is because the arbor that this, uh, that this, mil this cutter is on, I don't have an, over an overarm support for starters. Um, and it's basically it's just a piece that I chucked together out of mild steel so um, it's, uh, it risks bending if we go in too hard um, so let's get on with that let's trip over that shall we And that, as they say, is that. So, parts so far. What we have is a couple of uh, couple of long T nuts coming out of that. So, two stage T nuts, which will take the base plates with some M6 uh, M6 bolts, then this sits on here, I need to make a, a nut for the top, drill holes, drill and tap holes, quite a lot of holes, um, and do the indexing mechanism, so this is going to index at uh, 45 and 90 degrees, every 45 and 90 degrees, um, it's quite a nice fit. If I can get that out, um, there we go. The uh, the tea nuts were made from a piece of cast iron. The tea nuts were made from uh, the tea nuts, which are not yet finished, were made from a piece of cast iron that was taken from a brake disc because it's the only material that I had. It was 10 mil thick, uh, which is the right thickness to go into into my tea slots. Um, and wide enough, obviously. Um, this was made from well, that's a that's an M10 an M10 bolt. Uh, that is a piece of XC48. It's uh, some pretty hard, pretty tough stuff. Uh, this is the same. It's also fairly tough. Um, it's not hardened. I'm probably not going to bother. Um, I need to uh, need chamfering as well, but yes, once that's done, this bolts onto here. This goes onto here. Well, you know what a four-way tool post looks like. You know, there we go. Anachronism, but that's what we're making. Whee! Okay, so what we have now is ugly. Needs some cleaning up, but it basically works. Uh, there we go. Undo that. Camera's about to run out of battery, but we can better go. The indicate in indexes between positions. And uh, well, there you, there you have it. Um, 
pretty neat, happy with that. We've got to clean it up, make a better handle, make a new screw for the, for the indexing mechanism, and away we go. And there's my tool post, all finished. Uh, well, all finished. Needs a handle, really, rather than a, rather than a six mil bolt lock tightening into the top. But uh, there you go, clunk, ding, clunk, clunk, clunk. Little bronze washer, nice little flat head screw, and made from a piece of uh, from a stainless uh, from a stainless uh, eight mil bolt. Um, you can use that to change the uh, to change the tension. It's uh, yeah, it works. There you go. Job jobbed.